Hi, my name is Dan. Welcome to my shop. This is where I build, maintain, and sometimes repair my model airplane fleet. If you're new here and this is the kind of thing you're interested in, if you want to learn how to scratch build model airplanes, or if you want to learn the finer aspects of modeling, or learn how to construct things, or put things together, or repair things, hey, this is the place for you to be. And I encourage you to please hit the subscribe down below and, uh, you know, ring that bell. Because when you ring the bell, it lets you know every time that I post a new video. And so far, it's been about weekly. And I hope to keep that pace up as we continue to work our way through the building of this Ryan's Rebel Giant Scale Radio Control Model Airplane. Yeah, I think I got all the points there nailed down. But anyways... Um, today we're going to be going over the tail section here. We're going to start constructing the, uh, the stabilizer and the elevator group. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. This is the stabilizer section on the plans and it is made up mostly of sticks. And so right now all I want to do is just kind of go through this really quickly and figure out what sticks are going to go where. And also we've got some uh, full-on pieces here. These are the uh, parts of the of uh, balsa that are going to go in and serve as uh, uh, strengtheners to the elevator half, the elevator halves. I'm just kind of whip this around. Hope I don't make you sick. Okay, and then that's the center plate that'll go on there. So everything else on here is going to be made from uh, a stick of one size or another. And immediately, what I've kind of determined is just looking at this. Uh, right here, we can see that um, most of the outside, all of the outside pieces, in fact, are this 3 8 by 1 half inch. So we cut several of those while we were cutting the wood for it. And basically what we're going to end up doing is going ahead and it's kind of hard to do this when it's all this long, but I will uh, be taking and laying down those parts in the proper positions. And then uh, I'll hold them in position with the magnets. And we will go ahead and once everything is set, then I'll go ahead and start hitting it with uh, the CA thin glue to fill the joints. And everything will be pretty much when, when, when that's all done, it'll be one solid piece after that. So the cool part about this is, is you get to lay it all out, make sure everything's straight, and then hit it with the glue. And that way you're, you're not, you know, things aren't creeping around on you while you're trying to build. So I'll go ahead and start getting the sticks cut for this and getting it laid out and then uh, we'll come back when we have something ready to go as far as uh, gluing wise but um, first step is going to be to cover this whole stabilizer with a piece of wax paper so we don't damage the plans with the glue leaking through to it so we'll get to that and start magnetting parts down The tail sections are pretty much cut and held together right now by all the magnets. I've got all the magnets firming up the surfaces, so all the joints like that one and this one and this one over here and that one over there, that's pretty much all there are. Uh, they're all being held firmly by the uh, magnets at this point on both halves. And so now the next step we're going to do is we're going to take the thin CA and just hit those joints, just to go ahead and tack everything together. And this one here needs a little bit of extra care. The joint's not perfect here. I'm going to show you a little trick that a buddy of mine uh, showed me as far as how to fill this up and uh, make it a better joint. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. So the joint that we're going to work on is right here. And what we do is we take a piece of scrap ball. So this is a piece that's just laying around ready to be thrown away. And I'm going to take the sandpaper here and let's make a little pile of sawdust on it ok 
Okay, now you can see where we've really got a lot of sawdust sitting on top of there. I'll take my finger and smash the sawdust into that big crack we had. Push it down in there. And then we'll add the glue to it. And the glue is going to make it kind of like a putty, for lack of better words. And it's going to wet it down for just a second, and then it's going to fry. And it's just going to turn it into a big old piece of plastic with sawdust reinforcement built into it. And here we go. Boy, that glue is really strong. But you can see what it's done is it's effectively filled up that entire joint. And that'll be really nice and strong. Now, the other thing is, is uh, once this is all cured, I'll be able to take the sandpaper and rip it across there and, and sand it down into a nice smooth uh, surface again. It looks like I want to get a little bit more out here. Yeah. See, that's smoking away again. Anyways, that's a good way to fill up a, uh, a uh, abnormal joint that you want to fill in and make it a better, stronger joint. And this is kind of a key joint on the elevator. I mean, this is in the back uh, section and is pretty much where the wind is going to be hitting this surface the hardest uh, when it's changing the direction of the airplane, changing the pitch. So once again, coming back out here, um, that joint is looking really good. I've sanded it off a little bit. You can see i got to run some sandpaper to level this surface to this surface eventually. But the joint looks a lot better, and it's a lot stronger right now. And so anyways, little tricks like this. I mean, yeah, I could have left it alone and probably would have been okay, but these are the kind of things that I like to be able to come back and be a little bit meticulous about making sure that this joint is as strong as it possibly can be. So anyways, I've got the rest of these joints to figure out here. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is working on these verticals. There's two of them on each elevator half. Uh, this is a 3 8 by 3 8 piece, and that just needs to be custom fit into there. We'll, I'll show you how to do one of those. And then the final piece will be the 1 quarter by 3 8 as the uh, cross stabilizer pieces, cross reinforcement. So those will be the next step after that. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do one of them, and then I'll go ahead and complete all of them. All right, so let's take a look at this elevator before we start working on that vertical here. Um, if we want to take a look at this, the way I look at this right here is, this is a 90 degree angle. So this elevator is shaped so that this back uh, trailing edge has a bit of a, a, a bit of a angle to it. So we got to figure out what that angle is going to be right here. This is the 90 degree. That's a piece of cake. I mean, 90 degrees is 90 degrees. It'll just butt right into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it over the top of this in the exact shape of where this is. And I'll put the marks on the bottoms of the stick where it overlaps onto here so that we can set exactly where the cut is gonna be made and it'll also build the angle in. So we know this is gonna be 90 degrees. So by making that 90 degrees, we'll be able to solve for whatever this cut angle is going to be as well. So I'm going to flip this over. I can't hold the camera at this angle and do it. So I'm going to end up flipping it around here. i got to make sure that I get that in there. You'll be upside down from the way I just showed you. But uh, anyways, once again, the 90 degree is right here. So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll put that there and what I do is I'll go ahead and I'll say um, and the other thing is, is I want to overlap this onto there so that right here is actually overlapped onto the trailing edge. Um, that way I can make this angle and if I don't get it exactly right I could sand on it a little bit and then this will still be too long so I could shorten this end down to make it a perfect fit into that eventually. So here's what you do. You take the stick we take a pen and we mark on the bottom of the stick where the stick is intersecting the trailing edge back here. I know I've got my hands totally covering it so you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to try my best here to make it so you can see. I'm just going to put these marks to where they come to that trailing edge in the back. Okay, so now when I flip it over, 
you can see right here there are two marks one here and one here and if we take a straight edge which I never happen to have one laying around when I need it so I'm gonna <laughs> use this big old clunky miter box to do it so now with this straight edge I can connect those two dots and I have made what this angle will be so we'll go ahead and do a, a straight up and down with the miter box on top of there and that angle should match this when it's put on there correctly Whew, that was kind of a lot of math but i hope it works out okay So this worked out really well. You can see that joint right there is going to be very nice and firm. We're still sticking out here. If you look, that thing here needs to be um, needs to be sanded down so that it fits inside of the rail now. But the nice thing is, is I can do that. I can sand it down at 90 degrees uh, gradually until it fits perfectly, and that's pretty much how that's going to get done. Uh, we'll get that. That's a straight up and down post and how to install it. I've got this one over here to do and then two over there. And so I'll get on those. Okay, we are back now. And this is the completed elevator half. All the joints have been put together. The cross braces are all in place, as well as the verticals on each one of them. So at this point, uh, everything's glued in, and I think I showed you the cool little, yeah, the, I had to use that little joint trick here in a couple places. This one looks really dirty, but uh, that's a nice smooth joint now with the uh, sawdust shoved into it, and that was, from, uh, that was from my flying buddy Bill. Taught me how to do that long, long time ago. So anyways, uh, everything is pretty much here this point I can go ahead and pull these off of the plan and then the next step is going to be to build the rest of the stabilizer structure up here but uh, and then once these elevators are clear of the plan like there's some trimming like for instance we'll go ahead and have to cut this one off I just stuck that in position because it was a nice long straightaway and I knew I could cut it later got some cutting there a little bit of cutting here and here to make those uh, ends nice and flush but uh, the bottom line is is once that's done these surfaces are pretty much going to have to be rounded everything is going to get rounded like here's a little uh, side view of it right here so the whole trailing edge of the elevator is going to be rounded to a nice uh, dull edge and then of course right up into here this is the leading edge of the elevator that's going to plug into the back of the stabilizer and we got to put that little 45 degree uh, type sanding job into it so that it has the ability to travel up and down the necessary distance it needs to travel so that it can put uh, the, put the pitch onto the airplane and so anyways that's what I'll be getting to work on next year I'll go ahead and pull these off and I'll go ahead and do a little bit of shaping and, and trimming but then go ahead and start on the stabilizer piece up in the top there that'll be the next thing to start um, yep yeah, so that's probably pretty much going to be it for today though if you have any questions about what we've done here today then please uh, give me a, a comment down in the uh, comment section down below uh, with your question and I'll answer it if I if I see it uh, that's but that's about it for this time um, yeah Hey, thanks for stopping by today, and if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell down below. That way you'll be notified every time we drop new content. So far, it's been about every week. Did you have something to add there? Yeah. 
she's really enjoying the content that we're dropping every week, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Anyways, <laughs> that's all we have for this week. If you have any questions about what we've done so far or if uh, you have any questions about the construction or, or anything about model airplanes in general, please feel free to leave your comments. And uh, if I see the question, I will answer it. Until next time, have an awesome day.